What's going on everybody? This is Jose Betancourt from TalkingAboutGames.com and I have something here for my fellow iPhone 6 Plus owners. Now we've all heard the jokes every time we tell somebody that we have an iPhone 6 Plus that the first thing they ask is, is it bending? Of course, uh, you know, they get a good chuckle, but I tell them no, absolutely not. But I have seen some legitimate concerns and I have seen some images where people have bent their phones unknowingly, bent their phones, and some people actually accuse them of doing it on purpose. Uh, I'm here to show that there are situations that you can accidentally bend your phone, and hopefully what I'm going to show you is going to help you out. Uh, this is not a video to defend Apple. This is a video just to help my fellow iPhone 6 Plus owners. So next to me, just for size references, because I do have some big hands. For reference, this pencil has a few uh, uses today, but one is to give a size reference that I am dealing with a iPhone 6 Plus. The second reason why I have this pencil is to bend it. So I'm going to demonstrate that if I hold this pencil in the center, I'm going to bend it. I'm going to snap it in half. But if I try to do the same thing on the top, I'm not going to bend it as easy. I might not even break it at all. But if I start applying pressure to the center, you can see it starting to give way and then snap I broke it right why because I took away its strength I got lead all over my I'll clean that later so I broke my beautiful glittery pencil just to help my fellow iPhone 6 plus owners understand something and I'm not accusing any of you of being dumb or anything I'm just helping out bringing up awareness because that's what youtubers are supposed to do okay so here I have a hybrid neo case from Spigen it was about 16 17 dollars on Amazon really nice case provides some texture in the back has some plastic or hard rubber up in the in the top and bottom and it has a nice plastic coating an extra bumper that goes around the phone so the first time I started taking this case out here I am you know muscling the the bumper piece off right and I found myself holding my phone right here in the center kinda of the way I was holding the pencil when I snapped it I was taking away the strength of of the phone itself of the body I was using the center against uh, the phone without realizing it. Once I realized it, I brought my hands up higher, similar to the way I did with the pencil. So when I take this case off, because this, this bumper piece doesn't come out easy, so what I do is I put my nail, you know, get a grip with my nail, and work my way up. And once I reach the corner, now realize I have support in the back. All right, I'm supporting the back, so this way when I push away from the, you know, when I push the bumper away from the rest of the case, I'm not putting all that weight on the corner, and I'm not holding the center of my phone, you know, because it's weak at that point. So to give the case and the phone some strength I hold it where I'm going to be pushing off now this is not anything to it you know I'm not attacking the intelligence of anyone and this uh, by the way this outer piece comes off very easy not attacking anyone's intelligence I'm just helping out because there have been cases no pun intended of people accidentally bending their phones they look at their phones and they're like oh my god 
I have a bend. I don't know how I did it. I don't wear tight jeans. I don't, you know, do anything crazy. And then they talk about a case, and then they realize, well, yeah, I was forcing my case open. Now me, I work on elevators. I'm an elevate, elevator technician. So I put this case on when I go to work. And when I get home, I like to take the phone out of the case because it's a beautiful phone. All aluminum, extremely light, extremely thin. The screen is amazing. So I like to use the phone without the case. So in my situation, because maybe seven days a week, you know, five to seven days a week, I'm putting on the case and I'm taking off the case. So if I was holding my case in the center and constantly pulling off or pushing off, I could I could eventually bend my phone. Not to an extreme as some of those videos, but over time I could see like a you know distorted phone or, or, or I could have a slight bend and once I notice that I'm gonna be very unhappy. I also have a see through case from speaking and this I'll use like this week is Comic Con I'll use this so this way I have some grip in the back and a little protection. The other one I'll use, the hybrid Neo, I'll use for work. And then if I go to dinner or something, um, casually hanging out, I'll use the phone without a case. If I know I'm going to be in a controlled environment. But an environment like Comic Con where there's freaking thousands of people roaming around, I could have this phone out taking videos, taking pictures, and somebody could bump into me and it'll slip and fall. So at least with, with the see-through case, I have some grip and some protection. And of course, working on elevators, anything can happen. I can have grease in my hands, you know, I can be working on something and it could fall out of my pocket or whatever. But regardless, when you're using the case and you're taking it off, just be aware. Use the technique I just showed you put support because this is a tall phone and anything that's tall if you if you you know hold something tall in, in a way where you're, you're disrupting the strength or the integrity of, of the, the body the way it's made you can damage it you can accidentally damage it so just use my technique hopefully it helps you guys out and if I did help you please Give me a thumbs up. So until next time, take care.